friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs, where we learn physics, understand physics to crack examinations and interviews. The question today, we are back with another interview question, and this question is very common and usually asked in different institutes, IITs in India. I was personally asked this question in the interview of IACS Kolkata. Okay, so the question is, what is the difference between atomic spectra and molecular spectra? Okay, we will understand the difference of atomic spectra and molecular spectra. Also, we will understand the origin of the difference between these two spectra. Okay, so the first difference is the atomic spectra are the transitions of electrons between electronic energy levels in isolated atoms, and molecular spectra involve transitions in molecules with two or more atoms. They can be same or they can be different. Now we will see that what are the nature of these spectral lines in case of atoms, in case of molecules. In case of atoms, this, uh, the spectral lines are found to be consist of a number of discrete spectral lines and why? that's why these are called line spectrum and this can be explained with the help of bohr sommerfeld theory and by the quantum mechanics. Okay? And in some special cases, the spectrum of the light emitted from discharge tube has the appearance of band of light. And instead of uh, discrete spectral lines, the band appearance of uh, spectrum are known as band spectrum. And it has the origin in the molecules of different elements or compounds. Now we will understand the origins of the spectral lines uh, of different nature, one due to the atoms, another due to the molecules. Now see here, this is our, suppose we are taking hydrogen atom. What we all know that we get discrete spectral lines, some will lie within an infrared region, some will, uh, will lie within visible region, some will lie within ultraviolet region and this, so look at this, this is the spectrum and all are different spectral lines, okay. Now we'll, uh, I will show you the molecular spectrum, look here, these are all bands of spectrum. Okay, these are not discrete lines. There are some discrete lines, but also this line, this is not that much discrete line like a atomic, atomic levels, okay, atomic spectra. So, these are the band spectrum of molecules. Now, we have to understand it from the atomic point of view. Why we get discrete spectral lines in case of atoms, okay. So, we all know, suppose we are taking uh, the consideration of simplest atom, that is hydrogen atom. Okay, and the energy levels are like n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So, the energy level, suppose energy is absorbed and it will excite, okay, the uh, electron to be in a higher excited state, then it will come and radiate. So, the radiation we get here as a discrete lines because the energy levels are discrete, okay. Now, what happened in case of molecules due to their energy levels, not only electronic, but they have certain rotational energy levels, vibrational energy levels, okay, we get different uh, band lines and how is it so? Look here, suppose this is our electronic uh, quantum mechanical theory of molecular structure we are studying, okay. So, we have to consider three types of motion, one is the rotation, another is the vibration, another is the electronic transition and with this kind of consideration of this three type of motion but we also have to consider the mutual coupling of different motions okay and but due to its difficulty of obtaining exact solution of the Schrodinger wave equation we, when all these are taken into account we can approximate the solution by neglecting the coupling between the different types of motions and this was suggested by Max Born and J.R. Oppenheimer. And so, to a first approximation, we take the energy of the molecular energy level can be written as E as E E plus E V plus E R, okay, where E E is the electronic energy level, uh, E V is the vibrational energy level, E R is the rotational energy level. What will be the order? The E E will be order of a few electron volt, vibration level will be much smaller and E E that is rotational energy level will be much smaller compared to E V means vibrational and electronic energy levels. Now, this bands in molecular spectra may be divided into three distinct cases. One is pure rotation band, another is rotation vibration band, another is electronic bands. And what will be the wavelengths? It will lie between 150 micrometer to 30 micrometer, that is pure rotation band, and the range is far infrared region, okay? And the rotation vibration band, these are bands extended about 5 micrometer to 1 micrometer, these are near infrared, 
okay and electronic bands this wavelengths of this band usually extend about 1000 to 7000 armstrong and they lie in the visible or ultraviolet region okay so pure rotation lies in the microwave region rotation vibration lies in the infrared region vibration lies in the infrared rotation vibration lies in the near infrared region and electronic bands usually in the ultraviolet region so we are understand we can understand that due to so much energy levels so many sorry so many energy levels suppose these are the different vibrational energy levels okay and within vibration energy levels there are rotational energy levels and this vibration energy levels lies within a electronic energy levels so there are difference of energy levels within a electronic energy levels within certain electronic energy levels and we get due to this transitions we get a band spectrum of the molecule okay and suppose how to understand this vibration suppose we are taking a co2 atom so look here they are vibration like we we are assuming this is a spring mass combination so they are vibrating like this way or they can be vibrating like this way or they can be vibrating like this way or how to understand the rotation rotation suppose we are taking h2 molecule so rotation can be this type of this type of rotation can also be possible this kind of rotation is also be possible okay and these are all due to if you were asked to draw the diagrams okay so i think you understand that the reason behind the band labels of the molecular spectrum thank you for listening thank you